today we are going to do a yard visit. It's your friend. Yeah, we're going all the way up to Surrey. It's um, uh, international event rider Fiona Cashel. Yeah. It's going to be very exciting. Yeah, so hopefully she's going to show us around, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, see her ride some horses. Yeah, that's and see cool. how she plans her day. Yeah. Yeah, She's it's raining at the moment, so that's not great, but <laughs> hey, it'll be fun anyway. Yeah, fun day out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so who's this? Who are you riding? So this is uh, Revel WSF Cathargo. Um, he's he looks um, very smart. So yeah, smart. He's been he's been pampered to, for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> the white boots the white only come out on, on special occasions. Oh. <laughs> um, he I've had him since he was five. Um, my dad owns him. <laughs> hence, why, dad. hence why he's not sold. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's advanced. He's he's pretty good. Like he's pretty good. He's he's good on the flat. He's good. He's a good jumper and yeah. he's really brave. So he's and he's like he's like, he, he looks a bit chunky, but he actually is really quick across country. Yeah. This canter has been really really hard work. Um, it's taken me about I don't know three years of cantering him the whole time to be able to collect him. Um, and his changes. He was the only advanced horse I kept in over COVID because he couldn't change. If I, if I didn't kick him hard enough, he wouldn't change. And if I kicked him too hard, he'd bomb off afterwards. So it was like, it was such a tricky thing. So, but like, he, he's so much more maneuverable. Like he can, you know, and actually now he's, he can hold his balance. And then I'm gonna do a change and he'll probably do, do it all wrong and show me up. No. I canter my horses a lot more than I trot them because I find it a lot easier. <laughs> Sitting trot is ever such hard work. But he's now got to the point where he's actually really like he's really manoeuvrable in the canter and i think that helps his warm-up when when i work him and he's a bit tense i just go straight into canter and sort of ride him forward as opposed to have that keep him in the trot and just have that sewing machine trot and on this left rein half pass he just likes to put his quarters in And I've been really trying to work on the like the suppleness within the within the half pass because he's because he's quite a sort of big rigid horse. It's it's very easy just to ride him a bit straighter and not have the bend. Look. 
They've taken about two years. <laughs> And I think that one was probably caught as leading for the first stride. And the trot I won't talk as much because it makes me out of breath. <laughs> He's just really big and powerful. He is beautiful, but he's like, he takes quite a bit of, uh, no, I mean, he's very soft in the hand. He's. See there, he just wants to go a bit straight. I need to just maintain that bend without him blocking. Now you hear is panting. He is nice, yeah. But he is like an easy he's a real power jumper and he's yeah. no he's really good. It's taken like he feels fab. I just feel so he did a really good test at Houghton and I sent the video off to my dressage trainer and I was like, he got like 68, 69%. And I was like, but I felt it was like easily over 70%. And he did go early on, so I don't think that helps. Um, not that I'm making excuses, but oh, I am making excuses. Um, and he just said, just needs a bit more suppleness in all his movements. Yeah. Just that. And I think when he's a bit tense as well, he sort of comes into the shoulder in and, yeah. you know, just needs to yeah. I think it, this. I think this one could be very, like produce a really good result on the right day because he's good on, you know, he's, he's, he's a good jumper. He's, he's good at everything, really. How old is he? He is, so, uh, must be 11. So he's not old no. and he's fairly, I'll just walk him around. Um, he's fairly low mileage because um, he's had, yeah, he had a year when I, when I was pregnant, he went up to Imogen Murray. Um, and she did she did like five or six events so he didn't he didn't do a lot that year and then obviously last year i just kept him in here to do his changes he's probably only done four four star well what is the new like the new format four star so um he was um he's still due to do a few, four star long and then that hopefully will get him his five star qualification but that would be the aim and so we're not going to run him much at OI we're just going to run him around some four stars and some advanced tracks and just hopefully give him that mileage so less but around some more technical stuff so he just gets a bit more savvy Very small um, and very talented. Oh, he's lovely. 
He shouldn't really do what he does um, because he's just... He's, he is quite small, isn't he? He's tiny. I think he's 15'3". Um, and he basically could be in a riding school. He's that lazy and that much like, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Um, and he's spooky and he's just, but he just, he, I don't know, he's, I've, I had him as a five-year-old and I sold him to Nikki, my friend, yeah. uh, my best friend, and to ride. And she um, broke her, I think she had a knee replacement actually. And I rode him for a bit and I, took him around some hundreds and he did really well and then some novices and he did well and then we thought well we're trying intermediate and I fell off at my first intermediate. Um, if you follow me I'll show you, if you follow me with the camera I'll show you a great photo of my first intermediate on this one. Um, this one up here. Let's see if we can zoom in, I'm sure we can. Oh you're flying. Oh wow, yeah. you actually are. Yeah. So that was my first intermediate on him. <laughs> Um, and it, I'm pleased to say it got better after that. Um, and he basically, then he did, you know, I got those were the days where you could get back on, so I got back on soaked. <laughs> Slipping rains. You little sod. <laughs> um, and then I thought, well, we'll do an advance on him, and he did an advance, like, and he went false, like, he's just been incredible. And he's been... So a bit unexpected, really. So completely. Yeah. You would never, ever believe he could do what he did. Yeah. He won the advance to Aston um, wow. about six weeks ago. Cool. Um, on, he did a 27 double clear within the time. And he was placed at Halton in the full start. Um, and, yeah, he's just... Been, like I love him. He's like my old pair of slippers. Yeah. He's just... Fun. Yeah. Oh, and again, lovely. he's stressy to get in the start box, but he doesn't do it, he plants. So he basically, you can't get him in the start box. Right. And I took him to Bookalo and he did that, it was sort of the first time he did that before Bookalo, and I remember Yogi Bison was there. He grabbed the flag out of the first fence judge's boot and <laughs> swiped it around his bum trying to get him in. But if you pull him, yeah. you can't, it's like loading. Yeah. You can't, doesn't, you can't pull him in, like no. you can't pull him in, he'll just stand. So now yeah. we have to get, jo well, Josh and Nikki, because Nikki owns him. Yeah. And um, so we just take a lunch line and yeah. it's like loading him. We load him into the start box <laughs> and just, they walk behind him and no, no one in front. And then yeah. he goes, and once he's in, he's fine. Amazing. It's honestly, it's the most bizarre <laughs> thing. And everyone's like, looks at me, go, I'm just like, again, tried and tested and this works. <laughs> so, and because he's so lazy, I never have to take a hold. I just kick, I, I'm literally like yeah. going around the Shetland Grand National going around the car. <laughs> I'm like, kick, 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 kick. You know, and, and I never take a check. And he always does the time. He, yeah. went, he went within the time at Bookalo around the four star long. And just because I literally was just like, kick, 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 kick. kick, kick. That's amazing now, against all like the bigger horses as I know, well. I know, I know. Another one that I can beat, Henry. So this is my, um, it's an intermediate horse. Um, he is um, owned by Alex Taylor. Um, he's actually really talented. Yeah, he's had a fantastic season. He won the three star at Tweezle Down. Wow. So he was the one that yeah. was on the, the video on Facebook. Um, yeah, that was such a cool yeah. video. Mm. Uh, yeah. And he's like, he's really come on, like his jumping. He took, he took you a bit of time. You made it feel really easy. But he made it feel really easy. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, you know, when you've got, when you're on a good horse, mm. it's like, you know, you know, with the flat work, mm. if, if you've got something that is really good, it makes you look like, yeah. A million you know, dollars. Yeah, exactly. Or you so, can look absolutely yeah. awful. Yeah. Mm. I mean, <laughs> like you're having ride. a lesson years and years ago. <laughs> And I had like one baby and the, the guy was saying, um, I can't remember who it was with, and he was like, you've got to keep your hands still, you've got to, you know, and then, and then I get on the next one who's actually like, who was advanced and I'm like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, that's better. I'm like, yeah, but this is You can't can be, that is easier. Yeah. yeah. But you know, if yeah. you want something that's good and, and could do it, it's so much easier. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, he had a few fences jumping wise, but he's, I think he, because he's always jumped sort of, 90 a metre yeah. and then all of a sudden I'm jumping a metre 20 on him yeah. it's like oh these are a bit big and again it's although we scope it it takes them a bit of time to actually learn to do that mm. as opposed to that you know because yeah. it's got a way we're doing that the whole time mm. so we've got 26 stables we've got 10 on and then 16 outside and they're all full double full wow. 26 stables but how many horses 
I've got about 50 horses on there. <laughs> it's all like, so my, my tacks here and then the liveries are down. <laughs> We're shot. She's been. Um, the liveries are down um, from there and it's in alphabetical order. Oh, wow. Just to try and make it easy. Very and I've got to know who's what liveries. So if we're tacking up, we can be like, oh, where's Lexi's saddle? Saddle What, over here? Yeah. So just to say which horses, which horses what. So if we're, say, tack, tacking up Lexi, we know that she's top left. So then oh, OK. Be, this is her saddle. Top left. So then we can go straight to Yeah. And th these are my saddles. And then we have a saddle chart for that to say which horse has which dressage saddle and which jump saddle. And then name narrow one, narrow two, medium one, narrow two. That is so, so we organised. Try and make it idiot proof. Does that work, sorry? <laughs> you don't tuck up any horse. Yeah. Don't get that on video. No. <laughs> that is on video. Like we have like over twenty, yeah. well, about twenty horses to work a day. Um, so. So you've got twenty that need the riding as well. Yeah. Wow. So Ash. Is that so, every day? Yeah. So this morning, um, Ashley will do. I think she's doing seven this morning, and then I. I'm doing my five, let's try it. and then um, Amber's doing three, Marilyn's doing two, um, and then there's another doing two. So yeah, there's about and then yeah, there's about twenty horses to work. Wow. And does um, that include hack it? Is that do they want? Yeah. So um, so with the schooling, it's me, Ash, and Amy. Amy's on holiday at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, um, so it's just us three that do the schooling. I don't know how you fit fit it all in with yeah, a baby just, as well. It's like I don't know. I've always <laughs> been like. It shows that if you want to do something, you do it, don't and you? Got you? Back to your fitness really quickly. Well, it's just the oh, sitting trot. Yeah. It's like it's having that many advanced horses that yeah. you just have to sit and trot the whole time <gasps> too, and the cesarean just has to. Oh you know, my god. Get, get over it. How old is your little one? So he is, um, he's two in September. Wow. You are so, busy. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's full on. But it's good. I've always been busy. Yeah, I've exactly. always been a busy person. Yeah. If I have a day free, then I fill it up. Yeah, yeah. This is um, our sort of daily board. Um, so the farrier basically comes once a week um, or twice a week, depending on how many horses. Yeah. And each week he writes down who he's got for the next week. So we know that, like, who's out Who's to come in, ready, and yeah. basically, yeah. 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 The vet, um, that's who... Hopefully you don't need that too much. <laughs> we always have the vet. <laughs> <laughs> we have, the vet comes probably three times a week. Like, really? It's just, yeah, well, th with this many horses, yeah. you know, vaccination, Checkups, sedations, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, slightly off, slightly abscessy. Mm. So yeah. Honestly, we have the vet at least three times a week. The physio, we have, um, we use Jenny Hadland. Um, She's very good, she does, um, so she now comes once a fortnight. She was coming once a month, but then we were having so, like basically yeah. half the horses on the yard. So we were having to do 20 horses in one day. Um, so she now then comes once a fortnight and does 10 to 12 horses um, once a fortnight. So Mike, you know, good old Mike Austin, he does our oh. maintenance. So does he? Yeah, yeah he comes oh. up and helps us do so maintenance. That, that's obviously quite, he probably has quite a big list. Yeah, so, <laughs> he's, yeah, so he hasn't at the moment, but he does all the waters. So if anything breaks, yeah. then we put it down on here. And then when the list is big enough for him to sort of make half a day, when we've got enough for him to do, then we then say, right, please come down. Mm. So he comes down. Um, walker, we have a walker list on who's going on the walker each day. This is jobs. Yeah. So um, we've got just tidy the container, name stickers on the rug peg, um, push them up, keep back, decob work, you know, just things that if anyone notices anything that needs doing. And they've got time to do it. No, if they don't have time to do it, they write it on the board. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, and then if, if then we've got, say, an extra member of staff in the morning that doesn't need to do any riding, yeah. I'll say jobs and they just work their way through the list. Yeah. So we've got, basically, we have boards over, like in the feed, I can show you the feed room. You come down. Yeah, that's, that's the mocking out rotor um, on who 
Who's doing what? Yeah. yeah. So Josh likes everything tied. Well, to be honest, it's the only way this yard runs yeah. is by having it completely organised. Mm. So we've got every single horse's supplements. <laughs> That's a lot. Of that is, and they're all named. That's yeah. so cool. So the yeah, so all of those are wow. Um, and then we've got a feed board, which is obviously all in um, stable order. Um, and then we've got the field plan. So, like, we really do make it idiot proof so people know yeah, what exactly horse is going what in what field. And, and then, um, I guess if someone's off ill or it changes, well, we're, then we're you know. We're very lucky in the fact that, um, like, we have continuity of staff, mm. we do not have a high staff turnover. Mm. Um, so, You're such a good boss. Yeah. <laughs> but Jack. Which is, I said, the one quirky horse we have to hack, but um, he's fine. Um, <laughs> so here, because this um, horse shares stables, so we've got in at night, in during the day. Right, okay. Mm. So Lex, in fact, they're owned by the same yeah. people. So it's the same same person that owns both horses. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so the night one is at top and then the bottom one. And again, um, we say whether they're on hay or haylage. Yeah. So when whoever's doing the hay rounds can just double check and we always yeah. make sure that the boards are up to date. So Jack's, he doesn't have any boots on, he doesn't, you know, he's fairly straightforward, just on haylage. Lexi, um, she is obese, so we weigh her hay. Right, okay. Um, so that's like in the winter she doesn't. Um, yeah. And then because she's been on hot rest as well. So, um, it's really good. So, but I think that makes it much yeah. better. Yeah, so this is uh, Mombe Cazador. Um, we call him Penguin. All my horses are named after chocolates. Um, and, um, and he's a five-year-old. I've had him for a year. Um, and he, um, he's gone out and done, he's done about, I don't know, 10 unaffiliated events and a couple of affiliated ones. Oh, it was like the the other events before you go out and get a record on them. Um, and he's jumped double clear around all of them. He's really brave. He's like he's properly. He's got everything in. Everything to be a top one. I would be very unless like obviously. You know he hasn't had a lameness issue but I'd be very surprised if this doesn't go all the way because it does it moves it jumps it doesn't canter on the right lead we're just we're just perfecting the counter canter at an early stage just takes a bit of time to get into him you know really be able to like ride him that forward trot that that is going to get you the the 70 percenters
who I do and I do um like stay up here and just sometimes think I'm lucky to do what I do when you're riding your really nice horse up here with a view on a nice day you just think what more would you want <laughs> <laughs>